Okay, we've determined now how to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of all our standard unit circle angles. And again, we did that by saying that, let's write it just so we're reminding ourselves because it's very, very important. The sine of an angle is the y coordinate, the cosine of an angle is the x coordinate, and the tangent of the angle is the y value over the x value, the y coordinate over the x coordinate on the unit circle. Okay? But you probably should remember that there are three other trig functions. There are three other trig functions, and they're the reciprocals of these three. They are cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine, secant, which is the reciprocal of x, and cotan, which is the reciprocal of tan. So what do we need to do? Cosecant is the reciprocal of y. Secant is the reciprocal of x. Cotan would be the reciprocal of tan, which is x over y. So what I'm telling you is that you really don't have to know much about uh, cosecant, secant, and cotan. There isn't, you don't have to memorize those. You don't have to memorize any coordinates. As long as you can find sine, cosine, and tan, all you need to do is take the reciprocal of those. Okay? So let's take a look at a couple of these standard unit circle, and unit circle measurements and come up with what our, um, what our reciprocals are. So let's take a look. Um, how about we take a look at pi over 3. Let's do these. Let me move this down a little bit so we can write in here. Okay, so we're going to look at pi over 3, which is this coordinate right here. And I've already written for us the three trig functions. The sine of pi over 3 is my y coordinate, which is radical 3 over 2. My cosine of pi over 3 was my x coordinate, which is 1 half. And the tangent of pi over 3 would be radical 3 over 2 over 1 half, which comes out to be radical 3. So, what about my other three? Well, all I've got to do is take the reciprocal of these. So if I take the reciprocal of my sine, my cosecant of pi over 3 is going to be 2 over radical 3. I'll leave the rationalizing to you, but you should rationalize that denominator, and you get 2 radical 3 over 3, don't you? If you multiply top and bottom by radical 3, my secant of pi over 3 is the reciprocal of 1 half, which happens to be, you got it, 2, 2 over 1. And my cotan of pi over 3 is the reciprocal of radical 3, which when you rationalize, you get radical 3 over 3. That's how we find our other three. We just take the reciprocals of the ones we already know. Okay? Let's use another angle. Um, how about down here? Let's move it down a little bit. What angle is that? You should be able to tell me which angle that is. Got it? How about 7 pi over 6? That's what it is. And my coordinates for that point were negative radical 3 over 2, negative 1 half. So again, my sine of 7 pi over 6 is my y coordinate, negative 1 half. My cosine of 7 pi over 6 is my x coordinate, negative radical 3 over 2. And my tangent of 7 pi over 6, negative divided by negative y over x, gives me radical 3 over 3. That's my sine, cosine, and tangent for 7 pi over 6. Now let's do my reciprocals. So my cosecant, which would be the reciprocal of 7 pi over 6, would be the reciprocal of negative 1 half, which is negative 2. My secant of 7 pi over 6 
would be negative 2 over radical 3. Again, you should rationalize that, and I'm not going to show you how. You should know how to do it. Negative 2 radical 3 over 3. And my cotan of 7 pi over 6 would be the reciprocal of 3 over ra radical 3 over 3, which would be 3 over radical 3, which happens to be radical 3. Negative divided by a negative gives me a positive, doesn't it? Okay, that would be x over y. Okay, and then the only other thing you need to watch out for, if you remember, is that um, you might have coterminal angles that are not within the unit circle. And again, if they're not in the unit circle, you need to add and subtract multiples of 2 pi to get an angle within the 0 to 2 pi unit circle so that you can determine your trig functions. So to find the other three trig functions, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, use the coordinates that you're going to memorize for the unit circle, and then take the reciprocal of the one that you need to take the reciprocal of and rationalize if necessary. Be very careful with your tangents. Tangents and cotangents. Take a look right here. My tangent is going to be 0, right? That's 0 over 1, y over x. But what's my cotan? My cotan of 0 would be 1 over 0, which is undefined, isn't it? Okay? So be very careful. If you divide by 0, it's undefined. 0 divided by a number is okay. 1 divided by 0 is not. Those are our other three trig functions. Thanks a lot.